Hey Clashers and welcome back to another video and today we want to take a look at alternate versus soul and that is a really nice matchup and I think the first attack is starting really soon so let's get just right into the first attack and let's have some fun watching those pros battle it out just this weekend alternate won the, the third time in the row, the ESL Meisterschaft. So let's see if they're a little bit burned out or if they can just start as strong as they usually are. And we have the first attack in, but this time from their opponent. And we have Akugod starting with his attack. And this one's going to be a Zab Lalo attack, which is, well, I th it's pretty strong still, but I feel like it's not that common anymore. I feel like it's a lot of the times it's more like a blizzard and sure things like that. So let's see how this is going to work out. We have the king, we have the queen pushing in this bottom compartment to do all the clan castles as well. This is what like this is one of the most annoying clan castles right now in the game, especially for a hero dive like this, because we have an ice god and we have a lava hound, which means this queen is going to be forever in place. The Royal Champ meanwhile is not getting down this um, yeah, this expo, which means he has to go fancy with his Lala. What exactly is going to be the plan? He had a ni he has a nice cut in the in the base with having cleared off the core already. This is looking pretty good. So now he has two up. Okay, already already too quick with this Lala. So I thought he had two options. First off, go into the town hall. But with the air sweeper, it's not that great of a decision, I guess. And instead, he is going in with the Lalo from the right side, which means he has to go for the far side, for the far, far side of this of this town hall. So let's see if those loons can save themselves. Yep, they got into the into the inner range of this eagle. And now we have the Lalo starting from the left side. He needs to be careful with his headhunters because those headhunters are going to engage the king first, then the queen. And now we have the blimp, and this blimp needs to make it to the town hall. Otherwise, there's, that, that is a huge problem. And we know already that... Um, this tornado trap is just so insanely important, but at the same time the tornado trap is already out of the out of the picture because we have the heroes triggering that at the beginning. And this means this town hall should go down without any problems. This is looking really good. One minute left. The town hall is going down. The loons so far are making their way around the town hall, which is huge because this means that the poison is being kind of useless right now. This is huge. And now we have the loons making their way around this is looking like the first three star for aku god this is really nicely done this means alternate under pressure that's like one of the first times i feel like this weekend they had just an insane defense so they did not have to go in all out on offense still they had like an average 13 to 14 stars um which isn't the worst kind of <laughs> i mean right now in the current meta 13 to 14 stars is just insane Round 14 right now is not that easy and I feel like round about like a 50% hit rate round about. Let's take a look at this is still the case. We have Yoyo -Yo coming in and this actually on his own base. He's starting with Electro Dragons. I have not seen him Electro Dragons forever basically. So let's see if that works. He's deciding to go in with the Slammer. And I have not, I don't know, I don't like the slammer on those bases. I feel like I like the, the blimp just so much because you can take down the town or early and you can just wreck those bases. So let's see if that works. So far, the legend dragons are not going to the core. The king art is trying to push everything back inside. But so far, nothing is going for the town hall. And since the blimp is invested as slammer, we have no chance right now to save the town hall, except he is going to use the Royal Champion. But right now, everything is going around the outside. He has to keep freezing that town hall. There's, there's another red, uh, red bomb, another skeleton trap. And the, like, the thing about this is that it's his base. He was, the, he was the guy who started building those bases. So whenever you're facing those annoying ring bases, which this is, Yo-Yo built those bases. And now it seems like he's failing against his own base. Well, that, that, that's unfortunate. But let's see, the Royal Champion is in. The Royal Champion is engaging that town hall. He has a free spell with him. Invisibility spell is always nicer because this means skeletons, things like that, do not engage the Royal Champ. And this is not looking good. The Royal Champ is trying her best, but the town hall seems to not drop the Royal Champion. And now the Electric Dragon, the Electric Dragon Chain is going to the wrong side. Can the Electric Dragon somehow get the town hall? The Electric Dragon is shooting once. Are the Lightnings... Oh my goodness, the town hall is not going down to the lightnings because it cannot take damage. And this means this is a one star for alternate. Ooh, okay, this is pretty uncommon. And this makes this, this match interesting because we know normally when alternate is like pushing ahead early, 
it's kind of like a one-sided show. So this is turning this match into a really interesting one. So let's see if we can see some sort of lead getting now in. But we have the tornado trap yet again. We have the tornado trap being the game changer and everything is getting rotated into that tower compartment. Which means this blizzard dragon is starting not with a huge value for this blizzard blimp. And this is not making things easy because he wanted to get the air defense for sure. He wanted to create some nice pathing. Maybe take down the defending clan castle like as a building itself. Maybe some builder huts to create nice pathing path through the core. But now when if he's starting with the dragons as planned. Which is most likely into the 3 4 o'clock side uh, compartments. He has no pathing whatsoever and this is going to be tricky. This is going to be really, really tricky. So let's see if he can somehow pull this off and make this work. This would be so important to start 2 out of 2, especially with alternate failing their first attack. And now we have the dragon slowly making their way into the base. The king on the outside is having some great value, but slowly making its way into the core. And I don't think that was the intentional um, pathing for the king. I think the king was supposed to go for the eagle. That was the goal for him. Instead now the king is inside the core of the base and we can see exactly what is the problem with that blizzard blimp because the pathing just is not existing. The dragons are going left, right, top, wherever they want to go but not how they were supposed to go. And the queen meanwhile is trying her best to stay alive. The queen still with her ability though. The unicorn is doing a great job of keeping her alive. The royal champ meanwhile trying to go for the eagle. But let's take a look at the dragons. Because the dragons right now are trying their best. Another freeze for the inferno tower. Another freeze for the air defense. But it looks like this won't get any further. Obviously some more percentages are getting collected. The royal champion is down by now. The queen still with her ability can get some more percentages in as well. But that's pretty much it. This won't be a 3 star. Scatter is alive. King could still tank. Multi Inferno Tower is alive. And this is a defense for alternate. This was really important uh, for them to get a chance to get back into this match. Never give up alternate. Even if they're behind. Um, and yeah. The, the ward is trying his best to somehow save this. But um, yeah. This is going to be around about like a 90%-ish. 90%. Bitter Hut is going down. That's another percent. 88, 89, 90% right there. And this being said, this will be a 91 because there's still another sneaky goblin. 91% for the second attack of Saul. And now we have alternate. And they somehow need to get a comeback win in this one. They're behind four stars. Only one attack less. And now we have Boom coming in. And the team captain has to save his team. Can he do this? Another Zeb Lalo. I guess for the court because we have five lightnings with us. Which means five lightnings is typically going for the core, typically going for inferno towers because with that, like you cannot take down X bows, you can't take down the eagles, scatter things like that. So you have to go for an inferno tower, and that's exactly what he's doing now. The king push into that multi inferno tower compartment on the right. Royal champion is meanwhile taking down the eagles. So great plan already. But is this going to work? Because the Tesla farm is coming up. The Tesla farm being really annoying. Obviously, that's a different, like that's an important thing to note as well. Alternate is nearly maxed out. I think only the new player Musk is not maxed out. Pretty much everyone of Alternate except that is being pretty much maxed out. So this is a huge difference. Obviously, we can see the number four right now for their opponents, and this is like not even close to being maxed. Non-maxed cannons, non-maxed Tesla, a couple of those builder huts are obviously maxed, but still, the cannons are the important thing. The cannons and the Tesla, those are the important defenses to be maxed out, because those are typically the defenses which are kind of like holding back the strength of those heroes. And if you don't have that, those maxed, they're getting such an insane value. So let's take a look if this can hold back boom or not. The Lalo so far is looking great. Lalo at the bottom side already. The Warden can shoot some loons though really soon. The Slammer is not going for the Town Hall just yet. 47, 48% of the Town Hall is activated soon. He needs to be careful. Nothing is going for the Town Hall just yet. 50%, 51 so the Town Hall is activated. He needs a freeze. Everything is passing to the air defense instead of the Town Hall. Now the early rage. Another freeze. Now the tornado trap. Oh, this is not looking good, I think. This is going to be close. Boom is trying his best to somehow save this warden ability now as well. Now those loons need to make it out of the poison. The warden as well. Otherwise, the warden is giving those loons so many, like, so many hit points that we need to keep that alive. And the warden is slowly making his way out of the, of the poison. He has one haste left for the scatter. The scatter is shooting. 
I think a headhunter or something um, over there. Now the loons are getting one shot, but some loons are saving themselves onto the scatter. And with 50 seconds left, this could be, this should be a three star, right? Oh, wait a second. A lot of air skeletons. Wait, if those loons are not making it, he's saving right now one loon to clear up the top left side. But this bow needs to go down first. Now this is getting close again. I thought this would be an overkill. But with all of those air skeletons in the core, we have this getting closer and closer. The minion is trying his best to get rid of those skeletons at the top left. We can see the gold storage now getting targeted by those loons. The pups are making their way in there. But the king is going to tank for all of that. And now we have the two archers on the left side trying their best to get down the spare factory. And yep, they should be able to do it. This is going to be a 3-star for Boom. It was a close one. Like max defense, as I said, and this won't be a 3-star. But it is nice 3-star at the end of the day. And this being said, it's going to be 4-5 to five with only one triple indifference percentage. They're still behind though as well. So let's take a look. Next attack is in and this is going to be a drag bad attack and we have okay we have some wall breakers we have an ice golem in there let's see what exactly we're going to take a look at we have a triple multi inferno at the top side so then he needs to take that out with the dragons there's no other way than taking those out with the dragons he's starting with his heroes on the right side trying to go for the eagle would be my guess and then a connection wall break for the for the for, for the for the multi inferno time maybe I don't know let let's just see the yak so far is not opening that wall that is important because he does want to enter into that eagle compartment there is a ground skeleton which is not that bad to be honest because yak is really easily dealing with skeleton traps so that's great now dealing with this defending uh, defending queen king at the top side is not going for the uh, going for the multi inferno tower because he has not wall break him in. Instead, the Royal Champion now is supposed to take that down. The Queen is dealing with the Wizard Tower. Is the Queen getting the second Wizard Tower? No, the second Wizard Tower is keep staying. And this obviously is not good if you're attacking with bats on the back. And now the Royal Champion is dealing somehow with some more defenses. But now the, the, go the Ice Goat is making its way and the Hound is already there. So this is not getting too far of this push. He's getting the Bitter Hunt, which is great. The right uh, Wizard Tower is getting repaired up again. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we can see already this with this completely maxed out base. The repair speed is kind of decent for those builders. And now the dragons are starting. And this is going to be a far, far side blimp. Really early blimp. Oh no. He is starting with this blimp so early. The first black man is getting triggered. Now we have to see if there's a donate trip around, right around the town hall. Um, wait, no, the blimp is earlier. The blimp is really far away from the town. This is not looking good at all for um, Holy Ashin. And... No way. No way. We we thought already this in the beginning was like a kind of like a tricky attack for Yo-Yo. But instead now he really has to struggle to get this second star. He has no royal champion. He has no king or queen. He has only his dragons. And this is like he needs to get through two scatter shots. The town hall itself. A sweeper is there as well. This is not looking good. Now he needs to freeze. Dropping the bats. But we know those bats are doing reduced damage onto the town hall. Because the town hall is storage. And this means those bats are dealing zero damage. I mean, it's like five or six bats. And still, um, with the rage together, it's dealing zero damage. And this is going to be a one star. Oh, no. They had the lead. They had the chance to put up pressure. But instead, alternate with OP Tornado Trap placement. Like, I feel like Tornado Trap right now is the most important trap. Because the thing right now is that... The, the town hall is so strong that 90% of the time we have the blimp taking out the town hall. Like with the far side blimp, a blimp directly into the town hall. So if you're predicting the right angle where a blimp is heading into the town hall, you can have huge success with that as a base builder. That's exactly what was showcased just the, uh, a few seconds ago. And now Bali has to somehow get his team back on track. I mean... A 2-star and decent percentage already could do that. But obviously, Vale is going for the 3-star. Let's see if he can somehow make this. The queen chart so far looks OP. Just take a look at those wall breaks. Those wall breaks are awesome. Really, really nicely done. The yak is beating through that wall. Instead, the king is not really knowing what to do. Now going for the enemy queen. And they, he's trying to push his queen into the town hall, into the scattered compartment. That's exactly what he's trying right now. And now he needs to push in there. There's a triple ice golem clan castle. This clan castle being so annoying. It is just incredible. This clan castle being super annoying. The royal champ running a bit ahead. 
And this being said, this means the Royal Champ is taking a lot of damage. Royal Champ needs to use her ability soon. That's exactly what he's doing. Taking down some bitter huts in the core. And now his healers are not... They're not supposed to switch. Let, no, they're switching. They're switching. The next wall break is not working because the bitter hut is still inside this talent compartment. And now we have the first... Oh, the second black mine. Already two black mines, which means he has only three healers left at this point. And the healers are still stuck on that... King, and this is not good. This is not looking good at all. No way. We have now the next air sweeper push, and there's another black mine. This is not looking good. There's only two healers left at this point. He needs to save his queen. He needs to save his queen. The queen is basically dead. He's double freezing to keep his queen alive. This is just insane. He's keeping his queen alive for now. The queen is dealing with that, like dead with that king, and now we have the push through. Oh no, this is... Oh, uh, I mean, can he save this? This was just insane. He was running into three black mines. Can he save this warden ability? Hay spell for those headhunters. Now he needs to somehow take down this royal champ on the back end. He is raging for this, royal, uh, for this headhunter to take down the royal champion. Another freeze and this is an overkill. Vale is just insane. How he saved his queen, I have no clue how he did that. With two healers against two ground expos, a multi inferno tower, and the king, that was just impressive. That was just truly impressive and masterclass of how you have to kind of like adapt on the fly if things are going completely wrong. This was not how things were planned. Yet again, he is getting the three star in. Huge props. And now let's see if Virus can get the three star in as well. He needs the three star to make sure that his clan still has a chance against this one, like in this one. At this point, Alton is leading with one star. You can see it at the bottom of your screen. And yet again, we have a Zab Lalo. So let's see. Already the Tesla farm is coming up. There's already the first um, skeleton trap. Second skeleton trap. Okay, yet another entry, which is baited by Alternate. Can he still do this? Let's see. We have the king now dealing with all of those skeletons. But as I said, the yak is just incredible. The yak is incredible versus all of those skeletons. That's why it's really often that you're having the yak combined with the king or with the queen to deal with those skeleton traps. And now we have the king getting into that compartment. Should take down the royal champion. And his own royal champion should take down the multi inferno tower. This is looking really good. This is looking really good as an opening. The queen is dealing with some more defenses. Royal champion should hopefully take down the inferno tower. The clan castle is coming out another time. Hound and ice golem. This clan castle is just insane right now. So if you're searching for a good clan castle, hound, ice golem, hound and headhunters. Triple Ice Golem Clan Castles, all of those are so strong right now. Most of the time you're not doing, all right, you're not using any damage Clan Castles like Super Minions, things like that. Those are not that strong right now, I feel like. But those um, Clan Castles which are further delaying things like Ice Golems or Hounds, they're just so strong right now. So let's just see if this was enough because so far the Clan Castles are not doing too much, to be honest. Now the Headhunters are getting used. And this time around, we have that blim yet again. This time, another black mine. This time, no tornado trap just yet. No NATO. Wait, now the NATO? And the NATO is pushing everything away from the tunnel. He has a sneaky goblin clan castle. So he's having everything getting rotated away from the tunnel. All of the sneaky goblins are dead in that giant bomb. And they're not going for the tunnel. The tunnel is not going down. Alternate being the masters, being the... G the genius of the sentry in this base building. This base was wrecked. This attack was incredible, nicely executed. But this blimp was yet again baited by alternate, rotating everything away from the town hall. This means as soon as the blimp reached the town hall, it opened, it released all of the super, like all of the sneaky goblins. And yet again, they're getting rotated away from the town hall and then died in giant bombs. This base building is just on a different level. Then now the red mines as well for the for the cleanup pups, which means this won't be enough for this. The warden is dying with the wizard on the back end. This won't be enough. As I said, Virus, did, he did everything right. He did everything correct. It was an incredible plan. It was an incredible execution, even triggering the skeleton traps in the beginning. Yet again, we have alternate defending. This is just insane. This is... Our town of 14 base building should look like. And we have right now an insane match for, from both teams on defense. And now we have the next attack. Us is coming in and he is going in with that blizzard entry. So let's take a look. He's opening early. Oh my goodness. Finally, someone who's actually being able to drop the rage 
correctly. Like I see so many people who are dropping the rage on a Blizzard Brim directly onto the Super Wizards. But you want to drop the rage into the direction where the Super Wizards are heading. So for example, a lot of people would have dropped the rage directly onto the blimp, which means a lot of a lot of uh, rage power would have been on the outside of the wall, where the Super Wizards would have been never ever to go there. Like this would have not been possible. But us is doing it perfectly, so let's see if we can push the through. Tesla farm in the beginning, yet again. Nice Tesla farm to delay the king. The king already losing half of his HP. Now the king ability has to be used into the giant bomb. Wow, like both teams are doing so good on defense already. Like with those traps and everything, this like this exactly is the showcase of how you can defend on town 14. All of those people who are complaining about the ballots and everything, they are just so bad in defense. That's it. Like take a look at those two teams. They're doing incredible. Both teams already with a one-star defense. And at the same time, a lot of defenses on two stars as well. This is how things should look like. And we have the king and the queen now making it into the compartment. The king is already really low on hit points. So he has not a lot of uh, like options to get through a lot of those defenses. The royal champ meanwhile taking down the right side with this multi-inferno tower. Now the question is, is this enough value? I mean, he invested already quite a lot of spells. But he has not triggered the tornado trap just yet. And that's the scary, that's the super, super scary trap right now. And let's see if he can make this. Okay. We have now... The loons getting into that base. We have the loons slowly making their way. We have the ice town slowly making its way around the town hall. And that should be a great freeze onto the town hall. So he has not invested a lot of freezes onto that town hall. The loud onto the town hall starting as well. The first freeze from the hound. And now the second freeze should be anytime soon. Yep, that are those are perfect freezes for those uh, for the town hall. Warden ability in. Headhunters are making their way into the head, uh, into the royal champion into the defending one. But this sweeper is pushing everything back into the poison. A double freeze for the multi infernal tower. The poison is already taking on those loons. The loons are taking a lot of damage. No red mines just yet. Black mine over there. But no red mines just yet. The multi infernal towers are dropping. Okay, they're dropping. Yes, both are dead. Now it's all about the, uh, the cleanup. If we can make this. The wizard tower is catching all of the loons together. Now only the bitter hut is alive. The bitter hut is taking down the warden. Now for it, oh, there are the red mines, a lot of red mines on those on this builder hut. And this means only one loon survives. And this being said, it means it's going to be a time fail because there were so many loons getting caught in those red mines. So yet again, another defense. This is unbelievable. Both teams, both teams are having such a rough time against those bases. This is just so incredible. And we have now boom as the defender versus white death and this is going to be a pekka smash with bats let's go baby this is interesting okay he is having a pekka smash and already like i'm already guessing about like what is going to happen because we saw already a ton of defenses with triple ice golem or like hound and ice golem and if i see this right if there's a triple ice golem in there we have two centralized inferno towers we have two centralized ground expos or actually four to be honest this is going to be a nightmare if there's a, like either even one ice golem in there. So let's see if that's somehow working. The blimp so far is doing great. Now the uh, warden ability, and there it is. No, I, I, I can't, I can't even watch this. The triple ice golem is going to melt everything. Like there is no counterplay. Just take a look at that. Take the eagle is shooting. The double inferno towers is shooting. The heaters have no chance to keep everything alive. At at this point, after the triple ice golem clan castle. Everything is dead. This is just incredible. Really nice base building as well there into the into everything basically. And at this point, after 40% of the base, his smash is gone. His smash is just gone. The multi inferno towers are wrecking those healers as well. His king and the royal champ is trying to get some percentages on the right side. He needs to get the 50% um, overall. Obviously, he has, no, he has bets left. I guess he's going to start with the bets from the left side to get some more percentages because three sorrows at this point is not possible. Needs to get those percentages in to still somehow save this. But I guess he has to risk it as well. So I, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's four freezes, yes, but central... I don't know, okay, he's starting with the bats onto the scatter shot. I mean, that's one of his only bats. He's trying to freeze, making sure that those bats are staying alive. The Royal Champ is trying his best, now the uh, trying her best, now the freeze. The Wizard Tower on the left is shooting a huge group of bats. Now the late freeze, and this is not getting anywhere. 
This is another huge defense. Guys, Town of 14. Town of 14 is just... It's, just, it's, it's I don't know. I just love the current balance. It's just... It's just such a nice. I think at the highest level, my guess would be if every, everyone is maxed out offense and defense, obviously, because some of those players were not maxed on offense as well. So that's fair to note. I think around about it would be around 50%, which I feel like for a competitive play is super, super okay. Uh, okay. Um, because if it's like around like 30 to 40, or like even, yeah, 40, 30%, I feel it's for the casual, it's just not possible to triple anymore. And at the same time, like all of those competitions that are only possible because this game is kept alive. And this game is kept alive because the casuals are playing. So I think right now the balance is OP. Um, I think the last changes from Supercell were really great. So let's see how it's going to evolve. But like, let's see. I mean, now Musk has to save this match. Obviously, he needs a two star, but at the same time, he still needs to save this. The king already is dropping low. Late freeze. Late freeze, making sure his king is staying alive for now. The king needs to take down this motor, uh, the single fern tower, it seems like. And Musk, the new player for Archer, needs to save this for his clan, for his new home, for his new team. Let's see if he can make this. So far, he did a great job taking down the, uh, the single fern tower. And now the queen is all about taking down the clan castle. And then he's going to charge into the town hall. This is scary. Because... Charging a town hall is always not the easiest thing to do, like dealing with that poison, making sure the poison is not dealing, like killing all of your troops, all of your healers as well. And he I, he wants to jump into the core, like that's kind of obvious. He uses, my guess is going to be that he, he's going to use the royal gem on the right side to push his queen into the core, like that's the only thing what he can do. Um, now the town hall is on his healers, he needs to freeze, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's freezing the bidders as well, really nice freeze, making sure those bidders cannot repair the town hall. And now the poison. That's exactly what I said. The poison is going to be scary. Um, it needs to run out at this point. And then he can like keep pushed through. And let's see what exactly is going to be next. Now the rage. So far the jump is looking good as well. This is looking really good. But uh, like what Mask is doing right now. Royal Champion is pushing everything inside as planned. The Infern Tower though killed his unicorn. Which is not great. And now we have like... Obviously, there's two scares left and everything, but the Royal Champ is using her ability on the right side. And the left side, like the left side skeleton has been taken down by the Slammer. Like this plan is just looking incredible. Incredible what Mask is doing right now. And this is already the two, so this is already the win. But can he like somehow like save this and get a great result for Alternate on the board? That would be huge. 12 stars like from Alternate. This is like, we don't see those often. So can he save this? The healers right now are dead, but the two scatters are dead as well. There's not left in this base, which still has a chance to defend itself. The warden is trying to shoot those those hounds. The eagle is trying to shoot something, but everything is in range. So he, like the the warden, the eagle can't do anything. Warden Blitzy now on offense, and this is going to be a huge overkill. What a beautiful attack! What a beautiful beautiful attack from Musk. And you can see the right already the result already under me in the in the scoreboard. Um 12 for 10, like 12 to 10 overall in a really, really cool match on defense, I feel like. Like this is sometimes cool as well to highlight the defensive part about the game as well. GG's to both teams, obviously. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, bye bye.